very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so let's review together uh, the market and let's see what happened with the signals that i have sent last saturday and let's check them one by one and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now the very first thing we can notice on the euro usd that first of all the pair haven't or actually hasn't reached the entry point of my entry or the buy order uh, what we can see right here that the pair actually has reached this support level right here uh, which was actually on 1.21232 and what we what was remarkable is that the pair has actually fallen to that support level and immediately reversed we can see the the shock on the market look at that these long weeks or long tails they can indicate actually a, a strength in the level of the support it indicates that the market actually has made one attempt to break out from the level of the support and immediately the market reversed and again the market retested the very same level and again reversed immediately reversed it indicates that the bullish momentum is quite stronger and that support level doesn't seem to be able to be broken out from soon so what we can do right now is if we look at the upper trend the upper trend line or the uh, support trend line actually we can see that the uh, bullish momentum is really strong and the euro usd seems like it's gonna actually continue the rise now the question is where we can start buying the euro usd and until when we can expect it to continue rising so it's actually not that simple let me first delete uh, the old signal so it won't confuse us all right so as we said before uh let me just write the take profit level it's important take profit level should be 1.21876 uh, um uh, almost there so the pair is still almost it's still require about 30 pips before reaching the take profit level however let's look at the daily candles and let's zoom out more now if we zoom out more we can notice that the pair is rising and if i'm not mistaken that is the movement i'm expecting from the euro usd in the upcoming days now i'm expecting from the euro usd to continue the rise until it hit that strong previous support level right here on 1.2144 after that the euro usd is actually gonna fall and it's actually gonna uh, retest that support level on 1.20675 which was also of course strong resistance in the past now after that retest the pair actually might continue the rise so we are actually gonna trade the pullback there is here a pullback gonna happen in my opinion and this is exactly where we are actually going to open our trades now here's the problem the problem was uh, with the midweek signal now that actually i really cannot give it because it's really very small um for example i can give you the signal to start buying the euro usd uh, right from that support for example right here which was strong resistance in the past and however if uh, we give the signal then the target the target is barely 62 pips so therefore the best thing we can do right now is wait for the euro usd to rise more until it hit that previous support level and from that point we can start shorting the euro usd and our target is gonna be that previous support level now the question the problem here that we are analyzing on the daily candles so we are really hoping that within one or two days so hopefully this week we can notice the rise uh, from the euro usd and it's gonna continue to rise until it hit that uh, level where we can start shorting the pair uh, therefore uh, we are going to send the signal to short the euro usd at 1.2144 and the target as we said before is gonna be that support level right here at the lowest level of the support exactly right here so we're looking about hopefully 158 pips of profit i honestly guys i really doubt that this is gonna happen this week i think this signal we can take it for the next week however that is the only thing available right now so let's just do it take profit is 1.20552 uh, the market might change maybe possible uh if the euro usd was strong enough to break out from that previous support level and gonna continue the rise immediately without any pullbacks without retesting the broken level broken levels yes that's in the, of course in that case we're gonna have to send another signal on saturday and of course for the safe zone we can just make it right here until that previous 
resistance and by the way my eyes looking right here on that resistance so that's gonna be fair enough as a safe zone for uh, the euro USD. let me just reduce it a little bit more I don't like to give a safe zone more than 50 pips uh, exactly 48 pips should be fine enough so therefore this is the signal there goes your signal for the euro USD. Uh, and I really hope it's going to happen this week so we can make some good profits out of this signal. Now looking at the pound USD. Now the pound USD isn't really interesting. Um, some of my friends in the comment section, which, which really were nice guys and very respectful also, of course, they didn't uh, agree with me about buying the pound USD. However, I think um, it was the right decision. However, the problem right here is the pound USD is really ranging a lot and such pair like that or such market is really so ugly that we really don't want to trade at all at and therefore and for the safety of uh, the followers and everyone uh, I really prefer to not give any signal for the pound USD since it's really gonna be gambling and it's not clear at all how what will gonna happen to the pound if they are gonna exit with a deal or without a deal uh, I think these these things are not finalized yet and everything is possible with the pound so therefore and after seeing the ugly movement of the pound USD like that and noticing how how it's moving right now I think it's gonna be not wise at all to give any signal for the pound USD there. so therefore uh, for this midweek mid mid analysis I'm not gonna give any signal for the pound USD now let's look at the AUD USD UD, AUD USD has actually reached the take profit level as we can see but sadly it didn't trigger my buy area so it's fine anyway the signal hasn't been hasn't been triggered however the pair has moved in the right direction as as I have predicted but however is it's actually useless so let's see what we can do right now with the AUD USD let's zoom out more on the daily candles and the first thing we can notice is that the pair actually is depending or relying on that strong support level to push the price up against that resistance so the pair actually let me just draw the line here let me try a proper horizontal line so you can see it yourself just like that so the first thing we can notice on the daily candles that we are we are having here a strong key support level on 0 0.75028 and the AUD USD has actually reversed almost exactly on that same level of the support so the price or the market is actually depending on that support to push it more up now the question is what are we going to do with the AUD USD now if I'm not mistaken the AUD USD is actually going to continue the rise until it hit that strong resistance level right here on 0 0.7605 now it's just about 94 pips before reaching that level so the best thing we can do right now at the moment is buying the AUD USD. The question is where we can start actually buying the pair. Let me show you a small technique. We are going to rely on Fibonacci retracement. And I'm going to draw the Fibonacci retracement from this higher high to this lower high. And as we can see, the pair actually almost reached 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and is going to actually reverse right there and going to continue the rise. Um, let's go to the smaller time frames to make it easier. Let's go to the 30 minute time frame. On the 30 minute time frame, and as I told you guys always, when you see any trend breaking out 61.8, it means that the pair most likely is actually going to continue the rise because um, when the market exceeding 61.8 Fibonacci, it means that the market is actually changing the direction of the trend. So this small trend right here, this mini trend, it was actually a bearish trend, as we can see. However, once the market break out from the 61.8 Fibonacci, right now it's going to be upper trend. So therefore, what we can do about the AUDUSD is give you the signal to start buying the pair exactly right here from Fibonacci 61.8. So that's going to be a buy on 0 0.7530. Three, zero. Don't confuse with the Euro USD. The Euro USD, as I said before, is going to continue the rise as well. However, 
the euro USD is gonna rise for just 60 pips and the AUD USD is gonna rise for another 95 pips, making buying the AUD USD worth it more than the euro USD. So then for the euro USD, we're actually going to sell once it reaches the resistance, not right away. Okay. I think the candle is falling right now quickly and in just seven pips is gonna trigger the area. So let's not waste the time and let's just comp uh, just give the signal right away. So the safe zone is gonna be ranging until the lowest level of the support level, exactly where we have drawn the end of the Fibonacci retracement. So the safe, so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 40 pips, which is really fair enough. There goes your safe uh, zone for the AUD UST. Let's go back to the daily candle. And as I said before, the target is gonna be the top of the resistance. So we are looking for almost 110 pips of profit. So the tech profit level is 0 0.76.05. And there goes your signal for the AUD UST. Hopefully also it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits. Let's look at the UST CAD, which I call really the Perfect, perfect signal. I have said that uh, the AOD, sorry, the USD CAD is going to reverse exactly from that previous resistance level. We are having right here a resistance number one. And right here, we can expect from the market to reverse on resistance number two. Exactly. That is what happened, thankfully. And the pair actually has been, the trade has been triggered and has actually completed uh, the, the, tra the signal and it has reached the target which we have made 83 pips of profit. Congratulations to everyone who have entered this signal and I hope you guys have entertained some good profits and decent profits out of it. However, what is gonna happen next? If I'm not mistaken, um, let me just delete the old signal. All right. So the AUD USD actually has made the strong breakout from the long-term support level right here on one point double, uh, sorry, 1.27450. Uh, we can see this bearish candle. This is a bearish breakout candle. It's quite a strong one. And it seems like the, A. Uh, sorry, the, I keep saying AUD USD. Sorry, the USD CAD is actually gonna continue the fall. So the question is where we can start again shorting the USD CAD. Let's go now to the smaller time frame, one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, we can see that the pair actually has made the breakout level also the breakout from this, from this long term support level right here exactly uh, on 1.27196. Let's see how many pips is that? Yeah, just 25. So most likely what we're gonna happen is that the pair right now, as you can see, the pair is reversing. Look at that. Look at the candle, it's reversing. I think, or I believe actually that the pair gonna reverse making a pullback right here, retesting the broken support level on 1.27196. And after that, is gonna continue the fall. Now, there is something here very important. If we look at the daily candles, we need to look at the left to find the next or the nearest strong support level as well. Now, if we look right here, there is actually no strong support level. So we're gonna have to rely on that strong support level on the past since 2017. The market is actually holding that level since long time. As we can see, the, the, the broken support level has actually become another resistance. And then we had right here what I call a fake bearish breakout and the market has immediately rise up again. And the very same level of the support has been respected again. So anyway, what we're going to do is actually uh, gonna rely on the previous support, as I said, right here on 1.26236. Uh, Right here, we can see the lowest level of the support and also it was a support right here. Not only that, it was also a resistance right here. So that's going to be our target. And we are aiming actually 94 pips from this trade. Hopefully we'll make it. So uh, we are going to short the USD CAD at the level 1.27196. And the safe zone is going to be ranging until the peak of the previous uh, resistance level. So the, si oh my God, no, that's a lot. Oh yeah, we are on the daily candles, sorry. I thought we we're analyzing on the four hour candles. All right, so 50 pips, which is really fair enough. And uh, let me just draw the shape, not triangle, no. Rectangle. Just like that. And the target, as I said before, man, we have to zoom out. All right, like that. 
So the take profit level <coughs> is going to be 1.26236. 1. And really, hopefully also, it will work very well for us and bring us a lot of profits. Let's take a look at the USDGPY. Guys, look at that. The USDGPY signal has been triggered exactly from the given level. And I'm very proud of my signal and my work, of course. And thankfully, uh, the sell has been triggered exactly from the level 104.146. As we can see, the USDGPY is running, uh, current, uh, currently running in 50 pips of profit, as we can see. And it's approaching the take profit level. So if you guys have taken this signal, please keep it running. I believe the USDGPY is going to continue the fall and it's going to definitely reach that previous support level. So for the USDGPY, there is absolutely no need to send anything new. The signal is running in profit and hopefully we will make the take profit. Let's look at the USDCHF. So for the USDCHF, actually, we can see that the pair has continued the fall before reaching our sell level, which is fine enough. And it seems like the USDCHF is actually going to continue the fall directly to reach the take profit level. And it's going to make it after just 13, 13, right? Yeah, almost 13 or 14 pips only. It's actually going to take, uh, it's actually going to hit the take profit level. So what we can do next with the USDCHF? USDCHF is really troublesome. I mean, it's making a lot of trouble. It's making my life really hard because uh, I need to go to the weekly candles and zoom out just to see the market, how it looks, and it still looks really ugly, especially with this long tail like that. This is really ugly, and it's not making the analysis easy. So, what we can notice right here on the weekly candles right now on the USDCHF, that the USDCHF has actually reached a strong, very, very strong key support level. We can see that the market was barely able to break out from that strong key support level in the past 10 years. So, if I'm not mistaken, actually, uh, we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more down to reach the lowest level of that previous support level right here. And after that, it's actually going to continue the bounce or actually uh, going to pull back. I don't see the USDCHF is going to uh, make the pullback before reaching that level. The problem is it's only 60 pips far away. And it's not really going to be a good idea to give any signal for the USDCHF right now, since the pair is actually, as I say, it's actually it's a very similar issue with the uh, EURUSD. I really cannot give any signal because I believe that the USDCHF is actually going to uh, continue the fall right away. I don't see any way that the pair going to make any pullbacks. And let me just make it clear. Um, for those who wish to enter the trade, you can actually start shorting the USDCHF right away and make sure that you set your target to be just um, about 47 pips. Make sure that your target, target is just 45 pips only. However, uh, make sure you are placing a proper stop loss, for example, right here at the top of that resistance level, just in case. You can set your stop loss right here since you actually, actually, no, 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 wait. You can make it higher than that, higher than that. The reason I told you that you, make a, you can make it higher than that is I saw here a strong key support level. So there is a chance for the pair to rise a little bit more to hit the same level of that previous support level before continuing the fall. So uh, please be extra wise about uh, trading the USDCHF, as I said before. It's not simple to give any signal about the UCCHF. As I said, it's going to continue the fall for another 45 pips. And after that, we can see what will going to happen with the UCCHF by next week. Gold. Do you, do you really? Th oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so proud of my work on the gold this week. Of course, I don't do that every week. Uh, some, weeks, some weeks I really uh, F up. And some weeks I'm doing well. Thankfully, this week I did really well. I'm just being honest. I'm not showing off at all. Um, many of my friends in the comments as well did not really agree at all with the um, buying the gold, especially Mr. Farid, which is really uh, very respectful. And I really uh, respect him so much. And I think he's one of the um, 
must gentle okay must respect for uh, followers on the channel however i really respect this guy as i said before and anyway um i think my analysis was correct the gold has actually rose and reached uh, almost 30, 357 pips of profit so let's see what we can do next with the gold now the gold actually after seeing this um and after hearing about the elections in the united states that mr trump has officially been lost uh, actually he lost it a long time ago but however uh, today it has been confirmed and he is no longer in the race so therefore i believe we can expect from the gold to fall a little bit more and let me just tell you where actually we have to wait for the gold to reach the tech profit level and after that we are going to short the gold let me explain the reason if we look at the gold right now on the four hour time frame we can see right here we're having here a strong resistance trend line and it's a, it's a bearish trend, a trend line and as i told you my friends the gold is going to be stuck in a channel for quite a long time uh, especially that actually um the christmas holiday is approaching and the market expected to be uh, very low in uh, volatility i don't really expect from the gold to make any sudden movements or make big movements these coming days and the market as i said is going to be going in very low volatil volatility especially the uh, we are up, um, almost um, approaching the two weeks of the holidays for the christmas holidays so anyway what i'm expecting actually from the gold is actually gonna continue the rise and hit our tech profit level of 1864 and after that it's gonna reverse and if we are correct and if the analysis was correct we can expect from the gold to fall like that like that for two reasons first of all it's gonna actually make another attempt of that support trend line the second reason is it's gonna actually retest the broken resistance right as you can see right here we are having this resistance level the top or the peak of that candle uh the the the, the wick of that candle indicates a strength in the level and if i'm not mistaken let me just look at the left and let me just be sure um which one was it it was this one exactly look at that i'm looking at the one hour time frame we can see that this resistance here cannot be ignored so i'm looking at the left just to be sure that it was also a strong resistance in the past indeed look at that it was also a resistance and it was also a resistance right here and let's continue looking at the left just to be sure just to be sure um we can see right here guys it's kind of it's kind of squeezed however we can see that it was also a support in the past so anyway yes that level can be trusted and as I said before, we can expect from the gold to rise a little bit more to hit the tech profit level. And then it's going to continue the fall until it hit that resist uh, previous resistance and hit also the support trend line and then going to continue the rise. So therefore, uh, we are actually going to short the gold once it hit the tech profit level. So gold is good for the short at 1864.17, which is also, of course, our target from the uh, weekly signal and the target this time let me just increase it a little bit more just to be safe and to not be greedy and we're gonna aim about 235 pips of profit um the take profit is gonna be 1841 that's it do you want me to write it 0 0.01 come on guys all right and for the safe zone of course it's gonna be ranging until the peak of the previous resistance right here uh, since the market is actually expected to reach it to just make attempt to break out of the level so the safe zone is expected to be ranging for almost 100 pips and hopefully we are actually aiming 235 pips from this trade so there goes your midweek analysis uh, signals i really hope it's gonna be another successful analysis and i hope everyone will make some good profits out of it in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching